Now we're going to take a look at how exactly the equipment request form on the North, NorthamptonTV.org website uh, interacts with the back end of our login at NorthamptonTV.org account. Um, basically what's going on is there are API services uh, that are engaging through uh, a website Zapier.com, uh, which are pushing and pulling data uh, from the uh, Google Form to Google Calendar, also Google Drive, and uh, emails as well. So to introduce you to this idea, the equipment reservation form here, once this form is filled out and submitted, this form will take that information and put it in to, the, to a spreadsheet that is associated with that Google form. So you can see all these requests and all the information that the person put in. And we're going to take a look at this one, Tim Lindop. So we have all this information here. Uh, and aside from that, essentially that information gets pushed a couple of different places. The first place it gets pushed is to an email. So once that fi form is filled out, it's sent to uh, an email address, login at NorthamptonTV.org. And if you open that email, you can see exactly what the individual wants. This is the review step. So gear is not guaranteed until staff approves it. So once that is approved, you take their email address, copy it, and you hit reply. Once you hit reply, you put in their you can paste their uh, email address there. And then you can give a canned, what's called a canned response. So under more options in the bottom right and under canned responses, you can see that I've made a template here named equipment request confirmation. And once I click that, it's a little blurb saying that everything's confirmed and if you want to call us, you can. And then I will send that out. Once that's sent, and if I go back to my inbox, it will be labeled as confirmed here. So there's an equipment request and then the request is confirmed. Sometimes you can just get by with selecting it and if that person you confirmed it on the phone or something, they don't need an email, you can go up to labels and add that uh, label confirmed. But if you want to send them an email confirmation, that you use that canned response. Once that person submits the form, it will show up in the calendar. So here we can see that even if it's, even if you have to unapprove it, if you unapprove it, if there's just no gear to go out, you have to go and delete it in the calendar. It's going to automatically make a event in the calendar. And we can see that event here, all of that information, same thing as the email. The other place that it goes is to Google Drive. So under Google Drive, you'll see uh, a couple of different ones that people are requesting, but you'll be able to see the person's name and the time in which they want to take gear out. If you click that, it will take you to uh, a Word document that it's created off of that uh, metadata from the Google Form. Here, I just clean it up a little bit so everything's on one page. I'll just delete the nuns. And once I get it down to that, it's a little easier. And then this form is then printed out and signed. And so they sign the, uh, the contract for damaged or lost or stolen goods. Um, and that's essentially how the API, uh, the Google form will push metadata to different sections of uh, our Google setup. Hopefully that will help you out.